All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to correctly structure your Google Ads shopping campaigns for best results. So what most people usually do when they make a Google Ads shopping campaign is they'll just make one campaign, one ad group, connect their product feed, chuck all the products in the one ad group, and then let it run and hope for the best. That's not the correct way to do it. The reason why is because you can't correctly analyze the data and then optimize accordingly for the different things that are working and are not working, and then stop the ones that are and they're not because what's going to happen is you're going to find that some of your products are really profitable others are not profitable and if they're all lumped into one ad group there's not going to be any way to filter them out correctly adjust what you need to adjust to actually make the campaign work properly so this is the structure that i recommend you use if you're going to run google ads shopping campaigns. Let me explain how this works and I'm gonna give you two examples so that you can actually see how this would go in a real campaign. So what you wanna do is you would obviously have the main account, which is the account level, and then you've got the campaign level, which is this section here. And now here, I would recommend that you differentiate your products based on the type of product. Now at the campaign level, you can adjust things like location, budget, bidding type, ad schedule, devices at the campaign level and devices you can also do at the ad group level as well. But basically you would wanna split your campaigns up by the type of product and by any of these. So for instance, if you have the same product type but you wanna target, let's say two different locations, you can split those into two different campaigns so that you can adjust which one works better and like drop one or lower the bid on one if it's not going as well. So that's an example of that. But basically, you would want to prioritize the different type of product. And then within the ad groups within each campaign, you would want to split the ad groups up to the variations of the product. So what I mean by that is, let's say product type is men's shoes, then product variation could be a type of shoe or a brand, for instance. So let's say you've got like Adidas men's Adidas shoes, Nike men's shoes, you would have those as separate ad groups. Now, I would recommend getting more granular with that, but that's just an example right now for this case. And then for the second product type, you would have like women's shoes, and then you could have like women's Nike shoes, women's Adidas shoes as the two ad groups in the women's section. And then in each ad group, you would obviously have the appropriate products, which would be the ads in that ad group. So only for that particular variation of the product. And then that would go to the appropriate landing page or the product page for each of those products. So when someone clicks it, it would go to that product. This structure is going to allow you to one, separate out all your products into different groups and then see the different data on each of these products products and how they're actually performing and to also be able to do different targeting for the different products as well, which is going to be necessary as you run the campaign and you see what's working and what isn't. And it's also going to allow you to put the different negative keywords for each of these products. Because let's say that you lumped Nike and Adidas shoes together and then they're showing up in one ad group. And now the problem you have is you might have Nike shoes showing up in someone's search as Adidas shoes. And then they're obviously not going to buy it if they specifically want Adidas and your conversion rate is going to suck. So that's why you want to be able to do this. Now, I'm going to give you two examples here so that you can actually get an idea of what this would realistically look like. So the first example is a coilover store. So this is actually a store I'm putting together. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But basically, coilovers are a type of suspension for cars for performance. Now, what I would do in my case for this campaign would be that I would split these up as brands because coilovers is a type of thing in itself. So I'm going to go one level lower and I'm going to split the, the campaigns up by the brand. So it would be McGowan Racing, which is a brand, would be one campaign and BC Racing would be the second campaign. And then within these campaigns, I'm gonna split them up by the car type because I've got multiple levels with these because I've got the thing itself, which is the coilovers. Then I've got the brands of each of them, which people are specific about which they wanna buy. And then I've got which car it's for. So what I'm gonna do is like I said, brand would be campaign level in this case. And then ad group level would be the type of car it's for. So let's say for instance, 350Z, which is a type of car. And it would be that particular brand under the brand one. So it'd be McGowan Racing Coilovers. Then the ad group would be 350Z McGowan Racing Coilovers. And then in that group, I would have the 350Z McGowan Racing Coilover product. And then it would go to that specific product page from the ad. Then the same thing for MX-5, which is a different type of car. I would have the MX-5 McGowan Racing Coilovers. They would go to that specific product and then that specific page. And then the same thing for the other brand. I would again have 350Z, but now it's BC Racing Coilovers. So the particular brand for that particular car. Car, and it would go to the ad that shows 350Z BC Racing coilovers and then go into that specific product page. Now, to give you a second example is a sunglasses store. So let's say you've got a sunglasses store, you're selling multiple brands of sunglasses. This case, what you could do here is you could split it up in the opposite direction. So you could go men's sunglasses, women's sunglasses, and then under, let's
let's say men's sunglasses, you got brands. So for instance, men's Ray-Ban and men's Kazal sunglasses. And then within there, you could have like all your men's Kazal glasses, which would show up in the ads. And then you could also do men's Ray-Ban sunglasses and show up the ads for there. Now you could theoretically split these up into the individual products if you wanted to as well. If you wanted to go super level, you could go men's Ray-Ban sunglasses as the campaign and then like the individual models and then the products. And that would ultimately be the ideal scenario because then you could see each individual product and how well that's doing. But this is to give you an example of how you should split up your campaigns. Whether you want to go to the extremity of putting each individual product is entirely up to you. You can do that if you want to go through the effort. But the problem is if you have a lot of products, you could end up with hundreds or even thousands of ad groups and it might not be worth the time to do that but you could do that. So this is how I recommend you structure your Google ads shopping campaigns for e-commerce stores. Don't just put it all into one ad group. You want to at least have some kind of structure going so that you can filter and optimize the campaign correctly. So Hope you found that one helpful. If you'd like me to coach you on how to run Google ads for your e-com store for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do your Google ads for you with guaranteed results, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.